Yeah, Steve Basic Architect. I'm out here in the cooking sun to bring you videos live from the site. The things I go through for y'all to bring you guys some information. No, I'm kidding. I love this stuff. I love coming out on a job site. I mean, next to framing and finish and putting the cabinetry in and, and putting the siding on and maybe installing the windows, foundations are my favorite thing to talk about. Right, and that's what we're gonna talk about today. So, you can see, here we are. I'm down in the crawl space. I figured we'd just run through a few pieces of what we're doing down here. So, you can see, 10 inch foundation wall. On this side, it's eight feet because of the way the ground slopes. Right where you are with the camera, that's a four foot wall. So the ground is sloping down and away here. Um, this side of the house, we're at, uh, I believe it's 26 feet wide. And notice, one of the first things, we have our beam pocket here, right? So we're gonna have an LVL beam line that goes across here. That's gonna sit in, so the wall here is gonna carry the end of that beam, if you're not familiar with what a beam pocket is. Now, it's probably gonna get shimmed up here to a certain height so that we get a nice level floor out of the deal. So these are always usually oversized by, you know, maybe an inch or an inch and a half so that you have some room to level that, right? The last thing you wanna do is get into chiseling this out or trying to cut this out. It's much easier to just add some wood and shim that up. Over here, notice, we drop down 18 inches and we go across here, we go across here for 17 feet. Now you're probably wondering, well, what's happening here, Steve? On this side, think of the house, it's an H plan. It has a long leg, another long leg, and then there's a 17 foot wide connector that goes out and connects this section of the house, which is basically all bedrooms. The connector is gonna have the front entryway, a powder room and mud room. And then on the far side is the living room, dining room, and kitchen there. Now, all of that is gonna get framed in an open web floor truss so that any mechanicals from this crawl space, we can run in there and we can move laterally through those open web floor trusses. But we needed to be able to get into them. So rather than <clears throat> have this be the height of the wall, we drop this down. Now, we're gonna get into some, a little funky framing here. We're gonna have a double mud sill here, and then we're gonna hang the floor joist in the inside of the crawl space there. So top of subfloor is three and three quarters above this, right? So by putting those floor joists in here or those open web trusses, now our mechanical system can go through here. We'll have a closure plate. I can show you that detail and how that's gonna go there and um, we could take a look at that up close. As we move down the wall here, notice we have a few little tie-ins. We have a lower shear wall here. This one is tied in. This is just a, a very long wall. I think it's on the order of about 54 feet or so, um, 56 feet, somewhere in that range. So we don't want this to bow out or bend. So basically we put in this buttress and you can see on this side, because that's only a four foot wall, we have our shear wall is up much higher and that's buttressing this wall here, basically cutting that wall in half, right? Think of it as that wall is nothing more than a beam that wants to bend inside, right? So coming around here, we have some of our um, utilities coming in. Also notice we have an opposing beam pocket over there. So we have our beam line, but we also have a couple footings and you can see that. We have one here, we have that shear wall, and then we have another one down on the side. So we'll have three intermediate footings that uh, will have columns that catch it. We will not be pouring a slab in here. The detail in here is calls for four inches of foam. And then we're gonna do a Stego 15 mil wrap vapor retarder. And it's gonna run up the walls and simply get taped off and get a termination bar there to basically seal 
um, any of the soil gases and keep all the bad stuff in the ground and keep our crawl space nice and clean. And that'll be on top of the four inches of subterra, which is going to be right around our 26 or so for this. You know, it's a passive house inspired home, pretty good house, however you want to label it. Um, you know, feel free, but, uh, yeah, there you have it. Um, the foundation, exciting stuff ahead. We're going to get going with some framing, but, uh, yeah, check it out. Look forward to showing you more of this project as it progresses. Steve Basic Architect, until next time, long live our buildings.